Super Light bottles go on 200. The Mod Mini Super Speed plus the American Auto Sports from 50 as well. So a lot of great racing. You know this is the last point tonight. A lot of great racing coming up here in two weeks for our Beverage Cup show. Here we go, 25 left. Order is part of the truck series. Rodney Haddock, Chuck Heyer, Jim Everybody 
in the pit area, you need to stay in the pits. Nobody else on the racetrack. Or else you can consider your night over. So the red flag is out after a big crash. Jason Lester's number seven destroyed. The 21 Chuck Iers, though, that truck probably destroyed too. Never what you want to see. So red flag out with 10 laps complete. And the two leaders are done for the night. And Jason Lester was not happy, and we know Jason Lester is a fiery character, but I can't blame him for not being happy there. But uh, I just mentioned it a couple of weeks ago, the 21 and 7 truck got into it, the 21 went spinning here on the front straightaway, they went spinning on the back straightaway. had gotten into it before, like I said, and now it, uh, it culminates over here in turn number two a bad way. So now Jason Lester is taking out his frustration on the pit box of the number 21. All right, so Jason Lester still walking around, very upset in the pit area right now. So a wild scene on what has been a uh, pretty tame night so far, and that has all spilled over. So now Lester walking back. The good news is Jason Lester is okay. Now the good news is everybody's okay. Frustrated, of course, but that is uh, that is racing sometimes, folks. You never know what you're going to see out here at the new Smyrna Speedway. All right, so 10 laps complete, still 15 to go. The top two trucks are knocked out of it. So let's see what we got left. Rodney Haddock in the 31, back of Monopoly, who's going to win the track championship here tonight in the 59. Did not appear to have the best truck here tonight, but now the top two wiped out. This race is wide open. You still got Jamie Sullivan in the 05. You got Nick White, who's a lot down in the queue. I believe he'll get his last back with the lucky dog. So, Rodney Haddock right now sitting in a good position. Maybe in 15 laps we'll scoot that truck over a couple of feet and he'll be sitting right there in Anthem in victory lane. But now he's going to have to hold off the 59 of Beck Monopoly. So we'll draw our 50-50 tickets. Well folks, there's still some extracurriculars going on in the tech area. trailer please James Adams crew you don't need to be involved nobody needs to be in anybody else's pit area everybody to their own pit areas at this time everybody to their pit areas you stay there or you're not coming back everybody to their own pit areas this does not even need to escalate any further everybody go to your pit area thank you Love you too, Mike.
So four cars or four trucks, sorry, left to settle it. Put a dollar in the bucket every time I see it.
the race of the night. They're going to have a lot of work to do to top that one. Just getting ready to climb out. Make some noise for your winner and your champion, Becca Monopoly. Her third championship of this season, folks. Not too shabby, if you ask me. A lot of people work hard to win one championship in a career. Becca's got three this season. Becca, come on over here. Congratulations on the win. It was a wild race out there. It looked like maybe you didn't have the truck to beat tonight. Almost like, you know, you knew you had the championship and you're just going to save it for Governor's Cup. But whatever went on over there worked in your favor. And here you are, winner and champion tonight. Congratulations. Well, thank you. This is uh, three races in a row, three wins and three championships. So we've had a pretty good year. Good past month. It's been awesome. You kind of see something coming over there, so just kind of hang back, you know, just wait for it. We got pretty close. I can't wait to see the GoPro. The 21 came across the front, barely missed it, but I don't know what was leaking. Something on the stop in the whole front of the truck. I see everybody else getting loose on it, but it was a good race. A um, full excitement for everybody. Maybe not all the drivers enjoyed it, but it was good. Well, yeah, you definitely had a good seat for it. At least you weren't caught up in it, and you know, like you said, just a great season. We appreciate your team's support coming out here. We know bringing this truck series back kind of started slow, but you guys were pretty much here week in and week out. Got a bunch of wins and to win the championship here on top of the other championships. How much does that mean to you? Oh, it's just great. Um, I mean, what are we at? 15? 15 now. So to be able to do three in one year, it's just unheard of. Well, now you guys can take a couple weeks off, get ready for the big race in the Governor's Cup. What do you think you have for that? Because this could be a big show, I think. Oh, there's no downtime for us. We're 75 laps next week at Citrus, the Triple Crown shootout for the Florida Pro Truck Challenge Series. Then we're back here for the Governor's Cup, and then maybe one weekend off and another race. So tonight we tried a couple different things. Um, hopefully in two weeks, four fresh tires. We'll have something for everybody else, but looking forward to it. Well, that should be a lot of fun. Go out there and uh, get that triple crown started off good, would you? Yes, thank you. But i got to thank Q Auto and Injury Attorneys, O'Brien Auto Repair, Sunoco Race School, Southern Race Schools, all the fans and kids that dress up tonight for Trick or Treat. This is my favorite night of the year for autographs, getting their fight in their costumes, and my dad for always working on this truck every day. Well, congratulations once again. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Becca Monopoly, your winner and champion tonight. Oh, thank you, sir. I forgot the 50-50 bag. That race was so exciting. I'm going to have uh, Becca reach in real quick, grab our winning 50-50 ticket. Thank you to Justin for having my back there. All right, we have our winning 50-50 raffle ticket. I'll let you guys take that out. We'll let the photos take place here, then we'll get ready for the final event of the night. Our winning 50-50 raffle ticket tonight is 063724. 063724. It's not yours, is it? you got to play Becca, not me. All right, 063724 for the 50-50. If that's you, come and see me in the announced hour. We got some money for you. Where are you ready? For the super stars. Oh, I think we, get, we got a winner. Hey, I didn't get you a shirt, but I got you a lot better than a shirt. Let's check your ticket, though. Uh, let's see, 063724. Let's check it. She bought all the tickets. No wonder she won. All right, let's see. Which one? 063724. Hey, that's a match. Congratulations. Let me see. Does it take the money? No, here it is. All right, here you go. 70 bucks tonight, but hey, 70 bucks is still 70 bucks. This this pizza shirt, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And so what's your name? Donna. Where are you from? Long Island. You having a good time tonight? Yes, we are. And we appreciate you being here. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, give her a round of applause. So our 50-50 has been claimed, and we got one more race in our regular season. Well, let's see if they can top the truck. What do you guys think? Are they going to be able to top that truck race? I don't know. I, I, I don't think we're going to have a cops call twice in one night. So. Well, let's see what happens. Final event coming up for the Super Stocks. We'll get you ready for that one here in just a second. But if David Gould were to finish in the seventh spot, which would be last right now, and Mike Motto were to win, well, my math tells me Mike Motto would be our champion. But we'll have to see how it all plays out. Running under caution here, William Hyman in the 89, your current leader. Travis Zuko, who did not get the best of the sport. Buggy, our multi-purpose buggy out on the track once again. Check 